the little baby bird survived the night. It was probably her first dinner last night that she ever had. So now we're chopping up worms again. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen Cheryl chop a worm up. Yesterday. He's getting away. Did you see that? He was off the plate. He was crawling right off the plate. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Cheryl's getting a little sloppy with the crawler. <laughs> you don't crawl, you call them crawlers for nothing. This is almost in my lap. <laughs> Open up. Is it in there? No. Wow. <laughs> it's just a plate again. This is a piece of crawler. Where's that her arm? Who's that? Two little arm, but no feathers, no fuzz. Oh, it looks like a crawler. That's what I said. She's got nothing, man. She needs a little blanket. Creepy crawler. Open that little chirpy mouth of yours and take this piece of worm. There you go. I think they push it down their throat a little more because you see them stick, sticking it down in there. Where's the worm? <laughs> He's a little active one. He's like, I'm out of here, man. <laughs> I have to clean the table. <coughs> Get this on YouTube. So when I go fishing, I won't have no worms. So you're telling me? Oh, no. Ladies? Quit yelling at your husbands or your boyfriends <laughs> for having crawlers in the refrigerator. You never know when this might occur. They made fun of me for years. This is called the payoff.
Come on, little one. Even if they're in the bag, they don't like it. Next to the hot dogs. Yeah, yeah, you know. Come on, baby. You had enough? Huh, that was tiring, huh? Alright, we'll come back later. Tiring, yeah.